Algebra 1, number 3.7. We're going to talk about formulas in this video. We're going to talk about rearranging them to suit our needs. So formulas allow us to process large amounts of information quickly. And the formula for the distance, rate, and time is D equals RT. Doesn't it kind of look like the word dirt? It's how far, how fast, and how long we can run in dirt. Think of it that way, then you'll remember it. Dirt. We can solve for any variable in this formula by switching it around to fit our needs. If we want to find the distance, we keep it as it is, distance equals. But what if we want to find the rate or the time? Then that would be r equals or t equals. We can switch it around. Whether we need to find a distance, which is d equals rt, that's the rate times the time. If we need to find the rate, then we put r equals, and then we would have d divided by t. And if we needed to find the time, we would have t for time equals d divided by r. And I'll show you how to rearrange this formula so that it makes sense, okay? Remember to check this video's description for similar video links that'll help you, okay? So switching it around, d equals rt, we can use the multiplication property of equality to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of r as 1 over r. Now, how can we get a reciprocal of r? r isn't even a number. Well, Anything over 1 is that thing, isn't it? Doesn't matter what number the r represents, an 8, a 10, a 99. If we put it over a 1, it's going to equal that number, isn't it? So all we have to do is flip it around to get its reciprocal as 1 over r. See? We can multiply both sides of this formula by 1 over r, and what we get is a d, 1d, over 1r, see? Because technically we can just go like that, right? And multiply with a 1 underneath those, and we'd get 1d over r1. We don't write the 1. That's our friend, the invisible 1, that identity property. So all we have to do is just have d over r. And because we've got an r, a 1r over an r1 here, that created the identity property, our invisible 1, as an r over an r. And we don't write that 1 do we? That's just a 1. It's 1t. 1 times t is t. So now we end up with the distance divided by the rate is going to equal our time. So if we wanted to find out the time, now we can do it using this formula because now it's not solving for d, it's solving for t, time. And what if we wanted to find the rate? We don't want the distance or the time. We want the rate. We take the original formula, d equals rt, and we multiply both sides by the reciprocal of t as 1 over t. And it does the same thing it did with the r. We end up getting 1d over t1, which is a d over t, because we don't have to write the 1, do we? And on this side, we get t1 over 1t. That's just this. It's the same numerator and denominator, which is a 1. It's r times 1 is r. So by multiplying both sides by the reciprocal of the t, the, one over, the fraction 1 over t, we now can solve for the rate. We just divide the distance by the time, see? We can do this for other formulas too. The formula to find the average of three numbers is a capital A for average A plus B plus C to represent the three numbers. And if you want to find the average for 10 numbers, you add up the 10 numbers and divide it by 10. If you want to find the average for 20 numbers, you add up the 20 numbers and divide it by 20, right? So. All we have to do is move this 3 over to the front of the A right here and then use the addition property of equality twice to isolate this A behind the equal sign if we want to solve to find out what that first number A is. See? So think of it this way. What if I said instead of A equals ABC over 3, I said 4 equals 5 plus 2 plus 1 over 2. 5 plus 2 plus 1 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So this is a true equation. What if I wanted to flip it around and find out what this 5 was? Well, I take the 2 and I move it over here so it's 2 times 4 is 8 is equal to 8. See? It's still a true statement. So we can take that 3 and put it in front of the A and this will still be a true statement right here. 3A equals ABC. See? Now we can use the addition property of equality twice. The first time, because we're trying to find out what A is, we're trying to solve for A, not the capital A, this little a. So it's like we're trying to find out what the 5 is and we don't know. All we have to do is subtract this B, and that makes our friend 
the zero pair and it gets rid of it. And then on this side, we subtract the B. And now on this side, we have three capital A minus B. We do it again with the C. We subtract the C. We make a zero pair. So it's gone. That's gone. That's gone. And now we subtract C from this side. And because there isn't a C to add or subtract to, we just tack it on to the statement. So now we've got 3A minus B minus C on this side and the A by itself on that side. Isn't that cool how that happens? Now the formula for the circumference of a circle is C for circumference equals 2 times pi as 3.14 times the radius, R. And if we don't want to solve for the circumference, if we want to solve for the radius, we can change the formula around. So here's the C equals 2 pi R. If we divide both sides of the equation, by the 2 pi, this becomes an invisible 1, the identity property, doesn't it? It cancels out as a 1, and then this side of the equal sign is 1 times r, which is an r, and then this sign is c divided by 2 times pi. We change the formula. It would work if we plug in numbers. What if I said 24 is equal to 2 times 3 times 4? So these three things that need to be multiplied together. Well, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 4 is 24, yeah. What we could do is take this and put 2 times 3 under both of these, cancel this out as a 1, because it's got the same numerator and denominator, and now this becomes 24 over 6, see? And it equals 4, see? That's all we did. So. We're just flipping it around and flipping it around and doing the same thing we did in the last couple of videos when we were solving equations, aren't we? All right, we're going to move on to 3.8a, and we're going to talk about the absolute value in equations, okay? I hope I'll see you there. I hope you're having a good day. Keep trying. You're going to be fine. Don't panic. It's not that big of a deal. We'll make it through this. Bye.